unfortunately lost my grandmother in October of 2017. And to go through something like that as a teenager with everything else that was going on in my life, it was really hard for me to process my grief and properly deal with it. And now I'm finding as an adult, and I use the, to the term adult very loosely, um, I'm still trying to find ways to deal with my grief. And um, that's what this poem's about. And I think a lot of people can relate to that if they've lost anyone um, close to them. So, yeah. <laughs> they say that time heals all. And for the most part, that's true but time doesn't compensate for the grief that you left us with. At first, it was all-consuming, devouring me whole and leaving me utterly useless. I remember people telling me that it gets better, so I waited and waited, and here I am, standing five years later, and grief still follows me everywhere, relentless like my shadow on a sunny day. There are moments in life that change everything, that shift the course ahead of you, and knock you flat on your back. Your departure was the cataclysmic event that shook my entire world. I can remember everything so clearly, <coughs> all the events leading up to the end, every hug, kiss, and reassuring smile. But everything after that is a blur, like all the color was drained from the world. Nothing was as sweet as it was before. Exciting events left a bitter taste in my mouth because you weren't here to share it with. And so much has happened. I graduated high school. I rediscovered myself. I found my voice again. Tell them. <laughs> Every time something happens, I want to run and tell you about it. Have you tell me how special I am, how lucky you are to have me, and how I deserve to be loved. For the longest time, I blocked out the memory of our last conversation, one no one else knows about. You gave me the best piece of advice I've ever heard. If there is one thing you should do in life, it's to marry for love and don't settle for anything less. My memory may be spotty from the, tra the trauma of my childhood, but that memory sticks out like a sore thumb. I remember how your hand felt in mine the way your soft whisper echoed in my ear, the pool of tears in my eyes growing deeper by the second, knowing that it would be the last proper conversation we would ever have. It's that memory that my grief clings on to, the memory that finally gave me the courage to be on my own, to step out of the shell I was caged in. I don't think any amount of time could ever make it stop hurting. If anything, Time allows grief to grow and flourish. I don't want to forget all the little things about you, but that's what time does. The duration of our separation will only grow. And the more I forget, it's like I'm losing you all over again. I'm back in the shower, drowning out the sounds of my sobs, and I have to learn how to live without you all over again. So no, time doesn't heal all but it does remind me to keep living in the hopes to be reunited one day and I won't have to remember what your voice sounds like. Thank you.